Welcome back to the Mobility Project. You may notice that we have young athletes in training. This is what we do on vacations. We subject, subject our daughter. Georgia, get on that treadmill. Higher, faster, faster, bigger incline. Let's go, pick it up. Caroline, your, split, your splits are dropping. Let's go. Good job, Bear. Just kidding. Really, we just have the, these, these machines tied into the electricity of the house. It's a great system. Yesterday, I was working with a really good coach, cycling coach, who's working with some dentists. And their dentists are pretty obsessed with jaw position on our athletes. And one of the, one of the hypotheses is we put the jaw in a bad position or we, we're clenching, we basically shorten all the short neck flexors, we, our head position changes, we close down C1 and C2, which actually does a lot of things. It changes sympathetic or parasympathetic outflow, sympathetic outflow. I basically can't get as much neural recruitment because my brain stem's getting crushed. Um, we'll see that the, the esophagus and trachea get a little bit compressed down. I end up in a rounded shoulder position. And so basically, you can imagine that this is part of our midline stabilization concept, that when my head is in a terrible position and I'm really short in the front, man, a whole bad host of stuff happens. This is why when we say when you're exercising, we want you to have a Zen face. You should look like a Zen statue goddess. Can't tell how hard you're working. You should never, ever give away that kind of information to the kind of your suffering to someone else working with you, right? So here's the deal. Today, it's a very simple M1, and the idea is that if I need to get out of this head position because it's so gnarly, and I need to get into this position, then I need to make sure that I'm also supporting those positions, those ideas with my thoracic spine. If my thoracic spine is stiff and stuck forward, then I'm going to be rounded shoulder, and I can't get my head into a good position no matter what I do or how I change my neck. So we change the whole system. This is probably the gnarliest M1 we've ever done. You're going to take and set a clock for 12 minutes, and you're going to put the ball on either rib, on either side, six minutes on the side. And here's the deal. So you're going to lay down. That ball is going to go starting, kind of approximating to that first rib. You're going to lift up and drive in. And I want you to really work on your breathing. Face is soft. When the arm comes overhead and you try to get to the ground, you don't make a pain face. Nice and soft. Just touch the ground, touch that spot, arm straight. What you're going to see is the arm is going to bend, shoulder comes forward. That's the same compensation we see when people are having shoulder and elbow problems. Arm straight, straight up overhead, keep nailing it, hit the next spot down. Six minutes aside, and you'll see that I'm on my second rib here, and I can almost get to the ground without horrific pain. But I'm really interested in trying to move get some, t some of that soft tissue gliding again back there. Oh, I found something ugly right about here. I'll keep finding those areas, pressing. Simple concept tonight. I want you to take a look at what your shoulders look like in the mirror. And even in this position, just doing that on a second, my shoulder is lower and a little bit better organized. That's what we're talking about. How do we get you into a good position to organize yourself? Last piece of this is for internal rotation, you're going to go ahead and put that ball in kind of the inferior border of your scapula down here, hand behind the back into interrotation. I'm going to try to drop my shoulder back and I'm going to roll right along that edge and try to get all of those ribs moving, oscillate back and forth, part of your six minutes on a side. So this is probably not so bad here, but this is really, oh, that's terrible there, all right? Good luck with this one. 12 minutes, don't be a pansy. This is good for you. Alright, we'll see you guys tomorrow.